Let's go. <laughs> so, pickleball advice. When your opponents are back, you wanna keep them back, right? We've all heard that, I agree. 95% of the time, I think that that's true. However, there is time where you do wanna hit a drop volley and drop that ball short. And here's why. If I am a really good defender, right? My opponents are smacking overheads at me all day and or shoulder high balls. They're smacking high balls at me. I can just back up, right? I can back up. I can give myself more time to react. I can defend pretty easily from behind the court. However, once my opponent hits a drop volley against me, I might go up and get it. Sure, I might be able to, to run and get it. But now for the rest of the match, that's in my mind. It's in my mind that my opponent might drop volley me. So rather than defending from where I'm comfortable, now I have to defend against the drop volley as well. Maybe now my defensive position is just behind the baseline. Well, what's gonna happen is that makes my opponent's attacks that much more effective. So the drop volley isn't designed necessarily to win that point. It is designed to force your opponent to defend multiple different things. All right guys, if you have a friend who has a, a birthday or an anniversary coming up, check me out on Cameo. I do that type of stuff all the time. I don't like singing, but I'll do it, I suppose. Check me out on Cameo. So it's a very situational shot. How do you do it? The best way to, to get started on working on the drop volley is just to feed a couple of shots over to an opponent. I'll toss the ball up to myself and try to get this ball as close to the net as I can. We're gonna work both forehand and backhand side here. What you'll notice is I'm starting my swing just above the level of the ball and generating a little bit of backspin. That little bit of backspin is gonna cause the ball to not travel through the court. It's gonna make it a little bit more difficult for the opponent to run up and get. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a, either a ball machine or a partner hit a couple of ground strokes to you. So my partner's gonna be at the baseline. I'm gonna be at the net. This is just gonna be a three shot drill. I'm gonna feed a ball to them to drive or to try and hit a uh, third shot drop of their own. And then I'm going to try and put that ball as close to the net as I can. Oh, ho, ho. a lot of times people ask when we're hitting these finesse shots, what is your grip pressure like? I have an entire video on grip pressure, so I'm not going to go into it here. But really, even when I'm trying to execute this shot, I'm not thinking about changing my grip pressure. I'm just thinking about not swinging towards the ball. I'm really sort of letting Sam's ball come to me and taking the pace off of it. Not by letting my grip go loose, but just by not giving energy back to the ball. Dirty. So, you can get some real highlight shots by carving the ball and getting a lot of backspin on it. That's just not quite consistent enough. So I'll see if I can do a couple. Let me see if I can get this ball to go back into the net. Oh, that would have been it. That would have been it. Nope.
but it's not really worth really trying to carve these shots. That's the one. That's what I was trying to do before with that crazy shot. So the drop volley is not a shot to win the point you're playing. If you're trying to win the point that you're playing, I wouldn't recommend that drop volley. Most players are going to be able to get it back and the risk isn't worth the reward. However, over the course of the match, the real benefit of the drop volley is it gives your opponent another thing that they need to defend against. It's gonna make your put away shots a little bit more difficult to return throughout the course of the match. So I like to utilize a drop volley early in the match just to let my opponents know like this is a shot that I might hit. And then for the rest of the match, they might be a little bit on their toes. They might be anticipating that another drop volley might be coming, even though it's probably not. So drop volleys, very situational. Don't expect to win that point. Most of the time, you do want to keep them back, but keeping them back will be more effective when you have mixed in that drop volley, giving your opponent another thing to defend against. If you liked today's video, please feel free to share it with a friend and make sure to subscribe. It helps me out and helps me grow my channel.